Okay, so I'm going to share one of the darkest moments of my business, why I almost quit, and the three major things that helped me turn it around. And what got me thinking about this is one of the things that I do every single day, and that is talking to Quote IQ users just to get a better understanding of what it is that they need, understand who they are, and how we can improve the software for their specific needs, stuff like that. And this thing is crazy, right? It has grown so fast. We have users from all over the world and from every service industry, things that we never even thought like photographers, caterers, uh, dog walkers, you name it, people are using it and we have to learn from them. But what has really been eye-opening is the number of people that I have reached out to that are struggling and they are ready to quit, right? Give up on their business, give up on their dreams. So today I wanna talk to those of you who feel like your business isn't going the way that you planned. Maybe you're feeling stuck, you're, you're feeling overwhelmed, or you're thinking about just quitting, right? Throwing in the towel. And I have been there myself and I know exactly how tough it can be. And I'm gonna share with you a story in a few minutes of exactly what happened one of the darkest times in my business. So trust me, I know. And I also know that every successful person uh, has, has faced at least one time moments of self-doubt and they've had to figure out who they were and what they were made of. And it's how you respond to these challenges that's going to determine where you end up. And before I tell you my story, I'm going to share the three things that have helped me personally. Uh, but I did want to tell you that if you want more in-depth one-on-one coaching with myself and Justin Rogers, we would love to hear from you. There is more info below if you want to check it out. I also want to know if you guys are liking these types of videos that are focused more on business-oriented material as opposed to just wash-related. So let me know what you prefer in the comment section. I really want your feedback because I want to give you what you want most and what's going to help your business the most. Okay, so the first one is you have to accept Accept the reality of running your own business, being your own boss. And hey, I get it. Things might not be going as smoothly as you had hoped, right? But here's the truth. This is tough and you're not failing. You're just experiencing what every business owner goes through. Doubt, stress, sleepless nights, and feeling just like you're stuck, right? And this is all part of that journey, if you will. And remember, it's not supposed to be easy. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it. Um, and look, you're on the right path right now simply by watching this, right? Trying to get better, understanding where you're at and sticking with it, even when it's hard. This isn't a nine to five where you get paid for just showing up, right? When you run your own business, you get paid for what you produce. You eat what you kill. And that is what weeds out so many people from running their own business. And I love it, right? It's a game and it's a tough game. And there are winners and there are losers. And you're the one that gets to determine the outcome. It's all on you, you alone. So you need to figure it out or hang it up. And that sounds harsh and it is harsh, but it's the truth. The strong survive and the weak go back to working for somebody else. And that brings us to the next step. And that is to embrace the grind, okay? Here's the deal. Success isn't about how hard you think you're working. It's about the volume of work you're willing to put in without needing some sort of immediate reward or gratification, or at least understanding that this doesn't happen overnight. And you can beat 99% of your competition simply by working consistently, grinding every single day, even when the results aren't there, when you can't see them, right? Think of it like learning to play the guitar. If you only pick it up once, you're never going to be as good as Jimi Hendrix. But if you keep practicing every strum, every chord, and every mistake gets you a little bit closer to being good at guitar, mastering that instrument. So you don't get good by playing one song perfectly either. You get good by playing hundreds of times, hundreds of songs, making a ton of mistakes and learning from each mistake, getting better every single time you pick it up. It's the repetition, the willingness to mess up, but keep going that eventually is going to turn you into somebody that doesn't suck at playing guitar. And maybe Jimi Hendrix wasn't the best uh, you know, analogy for this because he's the best, but you got to keep grinding. You got to keep going and you can't expect things to happen overnight, right? Greatness takes time, effort, and a lot of work. Okay. So number three is something that I see and I hear a lot of, and basically it comes down to this. You have to take responsibility, okay? The biggest shift for most people when they're doing their own thing, running their own business comes when you realize that you are the output of your work and it's easy to blame circumstance or say things aren't going well, uh, but the reality is no one is gonna do the work for you, okay? If you're thinking about quitting because things are slow, ask yourself, 
are you really putting in the work? Are you doing everything that you can every single waking moment to make this happen, to make this work? The difference between good and great is effort, okay? That is it. It's your skills, your persistence, and your willingness to keep going that are eventually going to make you successful, okay? If you're waiting for something magical to happen, or if you're waiting for a handout, it ain't coming. So you got to get out there and you got to make it happen for yourself. Okay, so this is my story and where I found my breaking point in my business. And when I first started, I didn't really know a bunch, okay? I had two employees. Both were doing route work. We had a chain of gas stations. We were doing a bunch of restaurants where we were cleaning sidewalks, dumpster pads, storefronts, stuff like that. Uh, one guy was pretty good. The other one, well, let's just say he wasn't really working out and I had to make a tough decision, which really wasn't that tough. And I got rid of him. And then I found out that the other guy was cleaning sidewalks with my equipment on my time for his own customers. So I fired him and I found myself doing everything on my own on top of my full-time job. Uh, so during the day, I was working my regular job and we also had a two-year-old at home and a newborn. Then at night, I'd head out around 10 p.m. and I would work until about 6 a.m., come home, get cleaned up, and then head back out. It was unbelievably exhausting to say the least, but I also learned a lot and I also learned that those boys were riding the clock because I was able to get done what they both got done in about half the time, but that's not what this video is about. And so with all that being said, I was burning the candle at both ends and I was desperate for help. So I ran ads on Craigslist and yes, Craigslist, uh, this was way before all the fancy hiring platforms that we have today. And I spent several weeks meeting with potential candidates, if you will, training several of them only to find, you know, some of them wouldn't show up. Some of them suck. Some of them came in drunk, high whatever. They just weren't the right fit. The constant grind, the lack of progress, uh, the, the hours, everything that was going on in my life was just wearing me down. And after about eight weeks or so of this just grueling schedule, I was ready just to quit and give up. Right. And I thought about throwing in the towel and calling it, you know, just saying I'm done, but something inside me just wouldn't let me do it. I knew that I hadn't given it everything that I had yet. So I kept pushing and I kept looking for the right guy. And finally, I found Craig, who was a great fit at the time. Uh, I got him all trained up. Um, and then he was out on his own doing his thing. Then I hired another guy as well. Not long after that, we landed a $95,000 a year contract with another gas station chain. And this was a game changer for my business, obviously, right? If I had given up when things got tough, I never would have gotten that contract, which we still have today. And it's probably double that now. And I wouldn't be where I am today trying to help other business owners get better in their own businesses. So this is my message for you. When you feel like you're at your lowest point, like you got nothing else left, right? You need to dig in the challenges that you're facing, the hard stuff that you're seeing every single day. It's just part of the journey, right? It's not the end of it. So remember, it's not about how hard things get, but about how you're able to overcome it, right? Work hard despite all of the challenges that you're facing. You got to keep pushing and you got to keep grinding and you, you will find setbacks, but you can't let them hold you back and they can't define you as a person or your story, right? If I could push through my tough times, I know that you can too. Your breakthrough moment, could be just around the corner, but you have to stay in the game to find it. Uh, and if you want one-on-one -on -one training, check out the link below. And I'm sorry, I have to say that it is what it is. But, uh, you know, guys, I appreciate you watching and, you know, have a great day.